DJ Chan on the track. So this is what driving a 7.3 is like. Okay, super long time, obviously a complete year since the last upload. Definitely has been way too long. And I honestly, I hate having to do this every time with a video. I just, I just don't find the time, nor do I get the budget to sit and rip apart all of my trucks and stuff like that to, you know, facilitate builds, to do maintenance. Uh, and I just generally don't have a shop. Uh, all of those things which of course are going to be in the in the works here So you guys are just gonna have to bear with me, but in this video a couple surprises for you guys that we're gonna be talking about um, And pretty much upcoming stuff for the rest of the year what you can expect from the channel and you know, just general general ideas as far as uh, This 7-3 so we'll get to it here in a second. I'm just trying to get this thing to where I want it to be so I can park and talk about it and we can go from there so stay tuned. Alright so pardon my ugliness and pardon the sound and the wind but this is the 7.3 in real time guys. Never have owned a Ford diesel before. Quite frankly this is probably the second oldest thing that I've owned so it was a good opportunity to try to pick one up. I've always kind of wanted a 7.3. Uh, in my opinion, they're good, reliable engines if you take care of them and stuff. This one back behind me obviously is going to need a little bit of work. Um, it's a 7.3. You know, what, what can I say about it? It's got a lot of miles on it. It's an older truck. It's a little beat up. But these trucks can really turn a profit if you decide to put the time and effort into them. I don't want to build this to be a, um, you know, like an on-road, just a, a pavement princess. I want to build this truck to just be an all-around I can do what I want with it. You know, it looks decent. It drives good. It's got plenty of power. Uh, just you know, for all of my my daily needs, uh, if I have to tow or haul, you know, I, I want it to be capable of doing all those things. So there's going to be obviously a bunch of upcoming videos. Um, sorry, I don't mean to keep looking. I, I'm looking at the LCD display here. So um, first time doing a face reveal on the channel. It's obviously going to be a little windy over here, so let me just shut the truck off. So, in my opinion, I think this was a good buy, just uh, for the sake that it's an older Ford. It's an OBS. They're highly sought after in uh, today's culture, so um, wind's not really helping out here, so I figured I'm just going to sit here and just try to do the video like this. So it's got the blue interior. I don't know all too much about these trucks. So I'm definitely gonna be looking for the 7.3 experts out there or just anybody that has owned an F-250 OBS. Uh, any, any input or any advice, any do's and don'ts with these trucks, greatly appreciate it. Um, constructive cr criticism. Don't just be telling me, yeah, it's a POS or you should have bought a Chevy. Um, we're gonna try to not be as biased with trucks here. Um, I have now owned a Dodge, I have now owned a Chevy, and I have now owned a Ford. Um, and you know, each truck has their thing, uh, each model, each year, or they have their own, their quirks. So, uh, so far, running and driving 7.3 power stroke seems pretty legit to me. So, um, definitely gonna wanna put the wrench time in this truck to make it worthwhile. Um, you know, plenty of more updates coming up as far as the S10. I know that was what the channel originally started with was the S10 ZR2 stuff along with, uh, you know, uh, Super DJ Chan and the Midnight Accelerators channels. Uh, those guys are still alive and well. They're doing all their, their stuff back, um, you know, back east. If you guys are watching, repping the 252, you know how it goes. You know how it goes. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a little while just to try to get back into the rhythm of things. Uh, I'm gonna try not to do the whole um as much as I can. Uh, you know, so like right there, it's just, it's gonna be a very hard habit to try to break and get rid of. So you guys are gonna have to bear with me on this. But I think that this is gonna be a fun, entertaining project. You know, I got some clips of it. So you guys will all see it once the video is all put together. So, you know, just, just stay tuned. 
and uh, you know hopefully you guys enjoy the content that's going to be uh, forthcoming to the channel so uh, if you guys are diesel freaks you'll probably like what's in store um, you know so very very limited knowledge here that's going to be uh, used to help me do the maintenance and uh, do anything I have to do to the truck so um, but yeah I you know it's 94 94 OBS F-250 it's got 337,000 miles on it so it, she's definitely up there as far as age and mileage uh, most of the body is in pretty decent shape a couple of things here and there that I'll have to get tweaked uh, and or repaired you know it, there's no clank popping or banging from the engine or the gearbox ZF5 manual so uh, not not necessarily the good ZF5 but it's it's still a ZF5 so I, I think I can work with that so and then um, you know it's bench seats back here it's really got the standard OBS F250 interior so we're gonna run with it we're gonna rock with it uh, a little change of scenery since I did the videos previously with Midnight Accelerator. So I relocated, backstory, moved out to Montana. Uh, I moved from North Carolina, took a job out here, and uh, just pretty much just living my life, enjoying things, um, you know, just living it one day at a time because that's all you really can do. Uh, just trying to stay away from all of the culture and with the way that things are going on right now. So just getting out, getting some fresh air, and, and living life. So, but. Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much all I really wanted to do just for a starter video, uh, just as like a re-intro channel update. Um, the S10 is going to be getting a lot of work uh, probably in the latter half of this year. I know we are in July, coming up into August, but um, I do definitely still want to do a bunch of things with that. It needs tires for sure, I know that. And uh, a couple wiring tweaks here and there. Maybe once we relocate back to North Carolina, we'll be getting Midnight Accelerators to do the custom work and the paint for it. So um, we'll have to figure that out, basically. Uh, it's going to be a bunch of scheduling and stuff with that. So uh, you guys will just have to bear with me. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I really have for this video. So uh, if, if you definitely want to stay in track and in touch with the build, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I, I don't want to be cliche like every every YouTube channel out there with the hey everybody what's going on I'm gonna try to do my best to try to give you know a little more unique intro to the channel uh, and just mostly focus on the the camera work and getting right down to the nitty and gritty I don't want to be doing all these fancy intros and fancy outros um, you know I'm, I'm not I'm not here to try to turn this into something that's like overly glorified you know a mechanic channel I just want it to be a very simple basic channel to do uh, some helpful videos for people, a couple of builds, and, and just just roll with it. So, but yeah, if that's that's if that's what you guys are after, please stick around. If you're not, uh, you can definitely go to like the Boss Garage or any of those big YouTube channels that do all the you know the fancy, real like nitty gritty with it. So, um, just a very basic channel here, guys. So just bear with me. But um, yeah, that's all I have. Uh, if you guys want to see more, like I said, subscribe. Uh, like the video, please give me a like so that I know that everybody's happy that I came back. So, um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one. So, cheers.